Hello, my name is John Schlotz and I'm Associate Broker with Windermere Real Estate in Phoenix, Arizona. And today I present to you the May 2009 real estate, residential real estate market update. There is a link next to this video that says view full report and I'll lay out all of these statistics for you, price ranges, the inventory, the level sales, all of those types of things for basically from from January 06 to current so you can see what the market is doing for yourself and I'm also going to comment on, on a few things one of the first things I'd like to comment on are inventory levels are actually coming down for the past four months we have seen those inventory levels coming down that's a good thing sales uh, the actual number of sales in metropolitan Phoenix are actually going up we are seeing some slight increases there and this month we have actually seen the median home price raise now it didn't raise very much but it did raise we actually raised by less than one percent but I will take any good news we can actually get what 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 we're really seeing is that the market the home market below two hundred thousand dollars is really what's driving all of the activity right now the bank owned homes in those levels are on fire we are seeing multiple offers we are seeing seeing uh, multiple counter offers also lots of competition there the reason for that competition is one first time home buyers have a huge incentive to be getting into the market right now with the median home price being about a hundred and fifteen thousand dollars a first time home buyer is basically looking at a monthly payment of six hundred dollars per month well i don't know where someone can rent that cheap and build any equity for themselves so that's what we're seeing for the, for, for the first time home buyers and don't forget that eight thousand dollar federal tax credit is has been fan fantastic the, the second part that's driving that lower end market is the investor pool the investors are coming in in a, in a big way once again those numbers with a 115 home and an investor has a $600 payment on that and for an investor because they need to put to put a little bit more down that that number would that monthly payment would come down they can actually rent that that 115 home for anywhere between seven and eight hundred dollars in some parts of town more and that's all area driven but the homes above in, in the higher end, and actually right now in this market, the higher end is, is almost defined by the FHA loan guidelines, and that's uh, $346,000. That FHA guideline, if you look at how the market's behaving inventory and sales-wise, once you go above that $346,000, the market changes quite quickly to give you an idea as you go higher up homes above seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars throughout the valley there are over forty months supply of those homes so that's a big deal there are some fantastic values in the higher end but with with loan guidelines currently it's it's requiring those home buyers to be putting down roughly twenty five percent which is uh... which is a chunk of change when you're talking about a seven hundred and fifty thousand dollar home or more so that is what's going on as the market on a whole. If there is, if you have a, if you are curious about your own home value in the valley or a certain part of uh, town, I can definitely get you, get you that information. There is a link right below this box, and you can uh, contact me. Let let me know what part of town you are interested in, or are the details about your home, and I and I'd be happy to get you that in for out. Until next month, best of luck to